Right, Kerry, so bad that Ulster County Executive Mike Hines spoke to me early yesterday morning and said Ulster County had been devastated with floodwaters and millions and millions of dollars in damage. Here's what it looked like. Early yesterday, many residents in the valley thought they may have avoided the heavy damage they'd seen on TV and other areas. And then, almost suddenly, the creeks and streams crested, overwhelming roadways and homes in a matter of what seemed like minutes. 455, a road cable. County Executive Mike Hine talked to me today. He said this is the worst flooding in Ulster County's history. He says roads are out, bridges are out, power's out. We're here on Route 55 and 44 in the town of Lloyd in Highland on Tilson Avenue. Behind me, all the way down for a half a mile, all the way down a mile there. The roads are out, they're flooded. The roads are breaking up. People are trying to assess how to handle this. Some of the kids are taking tubes and actually wanting to make it a fun time and float down the road, but it's a very dangerous situation right now, and it's not going to be better for any time soon. And though some kids saw the surreal scene as an adventure, the magnitude of the effects Irene had on an area used to storms heading out to sea, instead of taking a path straight up the gut of the Hudson Valley, hit them like a thunderbolt. We own the inn up here, the bed and breakfast. I, I have never, we've been here uh, six years, have never seen anything like this. Uh, I mean, amazing. You look at the damage and the water that's flowing, and it's rising. It's continuing to rise. It's been rising all morning. We're up high, uh, thank goodness. And, you know, the, but you can see it just surrounding, almost like an island, you know. And uh, I've never seen damage like this to the road. Just when you thought it was all over and the storm was subsiding, then you come out and you see this. Well, this is kind of unprecedented today with the hurricane coming in. The road has never been washed out like this. I got to cross this barrier because I have a lady who's uh, handicapped and I got uh, about four feet of water uh, that's filling up on, on her basement. I got to get the power shut down. Uh, my home is right in the back of the stream that's overflowing right here. It's, uh, it's a real tough one. My daughter is on the other side of the street and we're bringing her a sump pump. Um, her basement is full and we're waiting for her to get here. But you can't, can you? We can't get over there. We've tried numerous different ways to get there. And that scene wasn't the worst of it in the town of Lloyd. Roads were caved in, Mariner's Harbor restaurant was underwater, and those who lived on River Road down by the harbor were trapped by rushing waters. Pretty much every road in the town of Lloyd is closed down due to flooding. The village of Highland all the way down to Mariner's Harbor on the Hudson River is completely wiped out. This is uh, the worst I've seen in years, and I feel horrible for some of the residents who we can't get to, down by Mariners Harbor, Lower Oaks Road, and River Road. From River Road south, or west and east, is flooded out. Uh, there's probably about 20 houses down there that are going to be affected by this right now, and we can't get to them. Across the river in Poughkeepsie, things seemed to go a bit slower. Around 11 a.m., just a few roads were closed for flooding. Then suddenly, all at once, town of Poughkeepsie police were inundated with calls. We're here in the town of Poughkeepsie at Shady Brook Park on Route 55, right behind H.G. Page. Town of Poughkeepsie police said they tried to get people at Shady Brook to evacuate because the water over this bridge is going to be coming up about four feet. No one's going to be able to pass through it soon. As you can see, my feet are here, and it's even with the creek water right now. So they're trying to get people to evacuate, but it's not mandatory. Right now, we're having terrible flooding conditions all over the town. Um, roadways are impassable, um, specifically areas that are low-lying, like Shady Brook Trailer Park, uh, Van Wagner Road, Bower Road, um, the New Hamburg area, primarily those areas. But we're starting to get calls for random areas that we've never had trouble with before, uh, low-lying areas that are flooding, roadways are flooding, people's backyards, our pumping stations we're having problems with, so it's, uh, it's starting to get really bad. We're trying to grab some extra pumps for an apartment complex we're taking care of, and um, we're just going to try to head down to Lowe's using this back road, but I'm not going to take the chance and, and risk losing my truck through this. It's pretty hectic, man. I haven't seen nothing like this in a long time. The roads are caving in, everything. It's bad news out here. Officials in Ulster, Dutchess, and Putnam County all say they agree, but they say it will be days, weeks, possibly months before property and structural damage is assessed and monetary cost is calculated.